distinguished uh, chief guest and my dear friend uh, Mr. R. Anand, Senior Vice President HR at CEO Technologies, guest of honor Mr. Nirman Chaudhary, Senior VP and Executive Planning Director J. Walter Thompson, Director of the Institute, my own minister, Dr. Rajiv Thakur, <coughs> my colleague Nalin, distinguished speakers, and many pillars of Jim's family. I see Dr. Punam Sarma, Vishi Raji, Dr. V.K. Tomar, Kanchan Rana, and of course, Utkars, participants, invitees, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's indeed a matter of privilege for me to again uh, be part of this annual conference that uh, the Pedia Group has started six years ago, and it is truly a significant series as Mr. Harpur mentioned. I have uh, several reasons to be here, not because I come from the GSNI or I represent the NSIDN, but also I have one more responsibility as a member of your academic council. If there is a scheduled promotion, if there is something that I can come and be part of your learning process, it's again a matter of privilege. And I must compliment the Japriya team led by Dr. Thakur for really uh, bringing such initiative on this platform, especially uh, from the wedding managers point of view, it is this forum that they will again learn a lot because the industry experts can tell you that how part of what business has to be or even many times you hear from your uh, faculty which are of course giving you a part from practical insight and conceptual insight but the practitioner do have their own experience of sharing that and that is a real meaningful learning opportunities. So congratulations to the Priya group for organizing such forums from time to time. In fact, uh, I was the member of the subcommittee of National Board of Accreditation in that the large amount of weightage is given for industry academic connect. And it is this connect that makes a business schools like Japri are distinguished from the rest of the business schools in these regions. Having said that, let me also say that the, the interest of time, the lot uh, has already been said in terms of our thinking, why we choose this theme, and what are the challenges or the potential that each one of have to take note of that uh, Dr. Harcourt in his own wisdom very nicely elaborated the very purpose of this one. So I am not going to repeat. Uh, since we have very two learned speakers, one is the inaugural speaker and one is the keynote speaker, I would certainly like that enough time be given to hear them out what they have to say on this very important uh, subject of Digital India, Transforming India. Uh, I would only like to just say one example which I remember. Uh, uh, I was a passport holder uh, when I was in JNU and at that point of time I took nearly three months to get my passport. And after that I had renewed it twice. I think this was one renewal I did it only last few months back. And that took three months and this time the renewal happened in just 37 minutes in uh, my way to IT office of a uh, passport. So that's the kind of speed that digital uh, will bring to our various aspects of our life, business, industry, whatever it is. Also I would like to share one aspect why we choose this thing possibly uh, was the also fact uh, there is a survey of Harvard uh, Business uh, Review which also has talked about among two pillars as body manager you should keep in mind while you work uh, for any company. So one of the pillars was that you must know about your customers. It is extremely important that is why you can build your business model around that. 
the stakeholder that I need, both internal with my or external customer or even your investors, stakeholders, your directors. What, that is what I mean. The second uh, aspect was also said in that survey was that uh, it is important to understand the competitions. That whatever business that you choose, you must know the companies of other business. What your competitor is doing in that segment or in that business. And more importantly, the third was, as you will quickly make out, it was the technologies. Because moreover, you can afford to say that technology, we cannot uh, uh, even see the value of it. Because technology is itself is today has become the pillar of any business. We have to take note of this, and that is why the theme that you have chosen is very good. They were apart from two motions. Issues of sustainable development, there is an issue of regulatory body being digitally right, but I am not giving you any position right now. The purpose here is that digital is certainly is part of our life. We no longer can afford to ignore it. More we become, as that you have already heard from uh, Dr. Thakur, better it is for everyone in this global business, and therefore, uh, we are honorary prime minister. And even to the identify if he wants to take India to the next orbit, the digital India has to be equally on the sound bodies. So with that note, uh, I would like to simply say, I think all of you have perhaps the agenda, but uh, in the interest of time, I would like to just deal with few things that you can make of note of. Uh, we would like to see in this program when we talk uh, out two sessions. Uh, the one session is on the impact of digital technologies on the economy, society, and business as a whole, as I mentioned to you a few minutes back. And second is the impact of technology or learning among the youth. Because that is the key. Ultimately, they are the people who will take not only India and but also the entire universe uh, level. <coughs> In this uh, two sessions, apart from the inaugural, that we will have these two speakers sharing their insight. Uh, we will see the influence of emerging technology on economic and social environment. And we will also see consumer and citizen empowerment in digital era. We will also see Digital India initiative offering substantive opportunities to business, role of government and business in developing digital infrastructure. And finally, the emerging challenges for digitizing the economy. economy. You will have ample time. Uh, with the distinguished set of uh, speakers. I am really delighted that uh, we have been able to, rather we have been fortunate to get very celebrated practitioners who have done this kind of work in their own organizations. And in fact, you will have a very good treat in listening to your perspective. I think what I would like to ask you at this moment is please give your full attention, see what they have to say, and if there is a point of uh, concern, Please raise it as part of your QA. I am sure our distinguished uh, panelists, uh, speaker, and expert will certainly give their best in addressing your concerns. So, with that, uh, uh, let me say it is a great honor to be here again in Jim's family. You make our uh, experience here always memorable, and that is why you know the customer is always first. And therefore, this experience that we, that has been packaged in half day format will also be equally rewarding. Thank you very much once again for uh, giving me the opportunity to be part of this proceeding. And I look forward again contributing whether there is some in the future as well. Thank you very much.